the general officer commanding GOC 82 Division Nigerian Army, Major General T.E. Labaja, has promised hard times for troublemakers in the Southeast geopolitical zone. General Labaja, who read the riot act at the closing ceremony of 82 Division Inter Brigade Combat Proficiency Competition yesterday at the 14th Brigade or Halafia Abia State said that the Army and other security agencies were prepared for anyone fomenting trouble in the zone. He said that the objective of the competition was to improve the combat readiness of officers in the division with a view to preparing them for more challenging responsibilities. The GOC, who was represented by the commanding officer in charge of 13th Brigade Calabar, Brigadier General P.P. Mana, expressed satisfaction with the performances and conduct of the participants, charging them to apply their new skills in the service of the country. General Lagbaja said that the army would continue to pursue training of officers and soldiers in the division with emphasis in modern welfare. The participating brigades competed in weapons handling, map reading, obstacle crossing, combat swimming, among other events. Meanwhile, the 13th Brigade Calabar emerged the overall best with 3,150 points, followed by 14th Brigade Ohalafia, in Ohafia, pardon, which scored 3,110 points. 82 Division Garrison Brigade Enogun clinched third position with 3,035 points, while 44 Engineering Brigade Enogun went home with the wooden spoon after scoring 3,030 points. On the individual category, Lieutenant Kolo Musa of 14 Brigadier Ohafia emerged the best in cross country, having completed the 10 kilometer race in 58 minutes 56 seconds. He also emerged the best in obstacle crossing, having crossed the hurdle in 14 minutes and 51 seconds, while Captain YS Bulama came first in swimming. The best overall female competitor was Lieutenant. M.A. Abubakar of the 44 Engineering Brigade Enogun, who also came second in pistol firing competition. The team from 14th Brigade Ohafia came first in map reading, cross country, and third in obstacle crossing, while 13th Brigade Calabar emerged the best in weapon handling and combat swimming. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this present situation according to what has been said? That the army have promised hard time to troublemakers in the southeast. They are promising hard time and they are saying that hard times await troublemakers in the southeast. That is what the army have said. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this present situation of things? The general officer commanding the GOC, it's the division Nigerian army has promised hard times for troublemakers in the southeast geopolitical zones. What is your own thought and reaction to this that has been said? We would like you to drop your point of view with us on this. We would like you to share your own reaction via the comment section on this present development. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have spelled concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Guests reacted to this and said, Shame on you. Military is being invaded in the north without resistance, but your own strength is on the armless civilians of southeast. What is your thought about this? That series of attacks are happening in the northern part of Nigeria. 
people have been killed people have been kidnapped the Boko Haram the bandits are committing atrocities there in the northern part and yet you people are not going there all what you want is the armless civilians in the southeast you are putting your own strength on the armless civilians why aren't you guys going into the northern part of Nigeria to do what ought to be done there what is your thought about this do you think the nigerian military are you know stylishly avoiding the northern part of nigeria because of the kind of people the kind of banditry the kind of boko Haram members that you know base in such place what is your thought about this well let's move forward and see what other people reactions is about this present situation of things in nigeria mommy charity also reacted to this present situation of things and said the soldiers have lost their shame by saying this look at what is happening in the north even right in their academic camp till date they have not captured anybody now you vow to deal with the armless people fighting for freedom god is watching what is your thought about this we have also heard from mommy charity saying that the soldiers have lost their shame for you know by saying this that has been said looking at what is happening presently in the northern part considering the academic camp that was invaded by bandits till date nobody has been captured none of the perpetrators have been brought to book and now you are vowing to deal with the armless people fighting for freedom in the southeast what is your thought about this according to my charity said god is watching what is your thought about this obviously with what has been said now people are, are barely disappointed in what the army have said considering what is happening presently in nigeria the northern part of nigeria is very hot presently why are you putting all effort in the southeast whereas the northern part of nigeria need it most what is your thought about this i'm disappointed in nigeria military igp doji dss on their pogrom exercise against the Igbo youth and the Igbo community, genocidal ethnic cleansing, extorting extrajudicial execution and abuses amounting to crimes against humanity, punishable under UN Convention in ICC World Court, in the Hago, President Muhammad Buhari's jihadist terrorist regime, using NA, IGP, DSS Fulani terrorist headsmen. This was a reaction by guest. Guest reacted to this and said, I am disappointed in the Nigerian military. I am disappointed in the Inspector General of Police. I am inspected, you know, disappointed in the DG. I am disappointed in the DSS on their program exercise against the Igbo youth and the Igbo community. What is your own thought about this? Obviously, people are not being pleased with what has been said that at times, await troublemakers in the southeast why not in the northern part why is trouble or probably at times not await the troublemakers in the northern part of the nigerian what is your thought about this would like to share your own point of view with us on this pain situation thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on the other news bye for now